What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing an instructional video geared towards people who have just picked up their gas blowback pistol. Uh, today we're going to be going over maintenance and cleaning and just keeping your gun in a working condition while you own it. Something that is properly maintained will significantly outlast something that is not maintained and abused. So if you spent $100, $150, sometimes upward to $200, you want to make sure that your pistol is going to work for a long time and correctly. So we're going to dive right in. I have a few different pistols and the reason I have a few different ones is because everyone might know something different. And I have three different pistols. That way we can do a few different takedowns for those who own different guns. But once you take off the slide, the rest of the video is pretty uh, standard across the board. So we're going to go ahead and break these guns down for you and show you how to do it. All right, so to go over a few of the things that you're going to need, you're going to need a rag or some paper towels. I prefer using an old like t-shirt. It just absorbs everything better and is a little more durable. Go ahead and grab yourself a lube. Uh, typically anything you can find on an airsoft store or uh, anything that's 100% silicone, you'll be good to go. Don't use anything like WD-40 or uh, people use like engine oil, which is kind of weird. Um, you don't want anything that can decay the rubber or the plastics on your gun. So like, especially with like a Glock where you have some plastic components, uh, you don't want anything to be wearing that down. So pick yourself up some like tech T or I think, uh, elite force makes a slick spray, which also works very well. So go ahead and get yourself some of that. Uh, also Q tips are super helpful to go ahead and clean inside some of the hard to reach places. That way you can make sure that there's nothing built up or in the gun. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take down some of these guns. Um, we'll start with the Elite Force 1911, considering it's one of the more popular guns. So you're going to want to go ahead and drop the magazine. If you own this, you do know how to do that. Um, and then when disassembling a 1911, you'll notice your slide catch notch right here and your takedown notch right there. So go ahead and rack the slide until the, not, the second notch or the takedown notch lines up with the bolt release or the slide release. Then flip it over and press on the back of this pin while this is still lined up. And then give it a pull on the other side. That will come out, rack the gun, let go, and now it's disassembled. So we'll go ahead and set this on the, onto the side. That way, you know, everything stays together. For a Glock, if you guys have any of like a WeTech or a TM or this Elite Four or this VFC Glock, go ahead and do the same thing. Take the magazine out. Now this one's a little different because you don't have a slide release like the 1911. So what you're going to go ahead and do is rack the gun back, pull down on these two tabs. There's one on this side and on this side. So go ahead and pull down on both of those, rack the gun and push forward. And now you'll disassemble your Glock. So we'll go ahead and set this guy here. All right, so for the M9, this is a little different um, than both of those. So start it off, take the magazine out. Now you're gonna have this lever system here. So if you go to try to push this, it's not gonna go. So you have this little pin right here which on the other side, you push over. And when you push on the pin, it raises it out of the way. Now you can take this lever, rotate it forward, and push the gun straight off, or push the slide straight off. And now your M9 is also disassembled. So I went ahead and put those guns back together and pulled out my personal high kappa. Now the reason I'm gonna be using this gun to show you guys how to clean and lubricate is because all those guns have never been fired. It's hard to show you show me cleaning a gun that has never had any wear and tear. This gun has been used a few times, so it might not be extremely dirty, but it's gonna be a better demonstration on cleaning because it's actually had some use. So for you guys who own a high kappa, this is gonna be the exact same disassembly as your 1911, you're gonna go ahead and rack it back, find that second notch, pop the pin from the other side, and, and now your gun comes apart. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the magazine. Um, the magazine actually is something that you can clean and lubricate. Typically, it won't be run on air. Uh, you'll have a fill valve at the bottom. It is uh, good to put a drop or two, or if you're using something that isn't droppable, 
inside of the fill valve, keeps the O-ring lubricated and everything. That way you're not gonna end up with any leaks. Pretty much do the exact same thing on the top. You can actually tell mine is extremely dry. If you guys use green gas, the point of green gas is it has silicone oil in it. So it does actually help lubricate the gun while you're using it. When you're using CO2, when you're using CO2 from Umarex, they actually add silicone oil into it. I did not know that, which is actually a really cool feature because CO2 is an extremely dry gas. So if you're using CO2 from Umarex, they do have a little bit of silicone oil in them. But if you're using CO2 cartridges from different manufacturers um, that do not have silicone oil in them, you can go ahead and put a drop or two right here before inserting the CO2 cartridge. That way it allows some lubricant to flow through the gun like the Umarex CO2 cartridges. I'm gonna go ahead, take my little Q-tip here, which you can use to apply the lubricant rather than your finger. Um, since I'm gonna be touching the guns, I don't really wanna get it all over myself. So literally just like a little bit on the top here, it's really not gonna hurt anything. Um, don't like overdo it, but like I said, it's just to keep the rubber lubricated. So this one could be our applicator Q-tip if that's what you'd like to do. But once you're inside the gun, you're going to notice there are some contact points and mine actually does have some wear on it. So you have these tracks right here and that is where the slide is going to travel along with back here. So obviously, especially when switching over to a metal slide rather than the plastic Tokyo Marui one, you're going to have a little more wear and tear. But before we go ahead and add lubricant, you need to go ahead and clean this thing up. So we're just gonna be focusing on the lower receiver right now. We will work our way to the upper at a little later. But go ahead and just clean all in here and up on these tracks. You can go ahead and fold this over so that way it fits into the track. Work it through there. And I mean, you can see it already is pulling dirt. Uh, it's pulling grime and things like that off of the gun. That one was even worse. But yeah, you can just go ahead and just work your way around through this gun. Um, you're not gonna really be able to get all up in here, but just as long as you're getting on these tracks where you're gonna have the most contact and the most wear and tear. So, like I said, just go ahead and clean out those tracks. You can even get up into here. Um, not that there's a lot of mechanical parts, but it just makes you feel a little better when you know you're cleaning it. So, like I said, the lower is really not gonna be stressful or anything intense or in, involved. So, there's nothing on my finger. It's pretty clean. Like I said, we're gonna be re-adding lubricant, but the whole point of cleaning is to take away any dirt or grime that may have gotten in there that's gonna add more resistance and potentially wear away at your components. So, the upper receiver is or the slide is going to be a little more intricate. There's actually gonna be a little bit of disassembly. It's not difficult in the slightest. Most gas blowback pistols are going to take down the same way. So you're gonna go ahead and pull out your spring guide. You can actually see there is lubricant on mine. So when taking apart the high kappa, you're gonna go ahead and pull back like so. Get past the little, I don't even know what you call this, part of the, part of the slide and then go ahead and pull it flush up against the spring guide and pull upward and make sure you don't release that because the spring will send your guide rod flying, essentially. Um, and then now you can go ahead and push on the hop-up assembly and it'll slide straight out like that. Um, we're not gonna be taking out the blowback housing because that is a little more intricate and honestly, you can access everything you need just by pulling down the nozzle. So. Uh, this guy I can feel has lube still on it, and I probably need to upgrade my nozzle return spring because as you can see, it's not really returning all the way. So, hey, there you go. That's why you do this because I would have never known that if I didn't take it apart to clean it. But just from go ahead, like taking it apart, you can see I have some stuff all over my hands. So we can go ahead and start with the actual slide itself. You can see there's a little bit of buildup of dirt and grime right in these grooves here. So that's why we have our rag. Um, that might actually be some wear and tear, or it might actually just be dirt. I'm not too sure. Uh, I feel like it's part, partially <laughs> both, but let me see if I kind of work my, my hand here. Yeah, it's just dirt. So some of this stuff is pretty caked on, and like I said, I didn't really use this gun too, too much. I've used it a few times in a few games, but it's also using a totally dry gas with no lubricant. So I made sure to lube this gun well when I assembled it. So the cool thing about like a t-shirt or something is you can feed it through 
And when I say feed it through, I don't mean pull the entire shirt through. More or less just get it to a point where you can grab it on the other side and then you can work it back and forth in these tighter areas. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier and a lot faster. So back here, yeah, you can go ahead and wipe off any of the dirt and grime that is in these tracks, just like we wiped down on the lower. Um, this guy is going to collect a lot of stuff there. It's pretty dark too, meaning that the lubricant that was on there did its job and actually kept this thing pretty lubricated. But it was getting a little dry, it felt like. Uh, you can typically feel when your airsoft gun gets to the point where it needs lubricated, it won't feel as smooth. But you can go ahead and take your Q-tip if you want and get into these like really small areas right here. Um, but yeah, you can see how much just comes right off when cleaning this. Um, you can also get up into these areas because I mean the towel does very well in most areas but getting into some of these tracks is not the towel strong suit. So Q-tips are going to be your best friend when cleaning this gun. So overall we pulled off quite a bit just from that tiny bit of cleaning with this. Now we can set down our slide and work our way to our other components. Um, if you disassemble it in the way that it's supposed to go back together, it will keep you from getting anything confused. So really only work on one part at a time. But you can see how much lubricant was on there. Uh, this isn't going to get super dirty, but it does definitely pull off quite a bit. So we can set that back down. I don't really worry about the spring too much. Um, just make sure you don't pull on it super hard when you're cleaning it. You would hate to break it or stretch it out. That way, um, if you do buy an upgraded spring like this one, you don't waste any money by having to buy a new one. Same thing with this. You can see there's a lot of lubricant on it, but when taking it, after running it through the towel, it is dry and clean. You can also kind of bunch up the towel and put it inside just to get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna grab your outer barrel and just wipe it off. The Tokyo Marui, I didn't get a chance to upgrade this barrel yet, so it is still plastic, meaning it's gonna have a little bit less um, resistance and it's gonna be a lot smoother on the metal slide than a metal barrel would be. So not really stressing a lot about that because it'll probably be replaced, but if you do have the barrel that came with your gun and you don't ever plan on upgrading it, go ahead, wipe it down, just like we did with everything else, and then we'll re-lube it before we put it back in. We're pretty much just gonna work backwards from what we just did. So. Go ahead, grab that Q-tip that was used to apply some lubricant to your magazine. I like to do the mag first, like I said, just to get it out of the way, you don't have to worry about it. Then you can go ahead, go ahead and grab these parts and just kinda, not lather it on there, but you wanna make sure there's a thin layer on here. And if you feel like you got too much, you can just kinda wipe it off with your fingers and wipe it off with this towel. The spring is gonna get all of its lubricant from there, so if there is a little bit of extra, you're not gonna really hurt anything because the spring is going to use that for sure. <laughs> and since this guy is going to be sliding through here, you can go ahead and take your Q-tip again, grab a little bit more, not a ton, and put some lube on the inside of here. And you can use the other side to kind of wipe away the excess. You can go ahead and feel it. That's very, very smooth. It doesn't feel like it's grinding on anything. Now you can go ahead and set this down because I don't want to lubricate this guy yet because it's gonna be sitting on the table for a little bit longer, we're gonna be working on our slide. Just like all the parts that we cleaned, we're going to reapply the lubricant. Um, go ahead and take your Q-tip. Most crucial point is going to be the tracks or channels here on the slide. You have some here. Uh, go back here by the nozzle and the blowback housing. Grab more as you need. And you're gonna go ahead and pick up some dirt that you missed because it's gonna get stuck to the lube and will be pulled up onto your Q-tip. So if you have a few uh, extra Q-tips lying around, that's why you have them. So with the tracks lubricated, you can go ahead and pull your nozzle forward and grab a little bit and put it down in here on your blowback housing because that's where your nozzle is gonna slide and you want that to stay well lubricated as well. Now you can also 
go ahead and lubricate the inside of this right here on your slide because you're gonna have uh, moving parts in there. So I'm trying to get the best way to get it on camera and for me to see it. Dab it on in there, you're not gonna hurt it. Just get some lubricant going in there. Um, so pretty much that's gonna be your slide. You have the nozzle lubricated, your tracks lubricated, where your spring guide is going to be sitting. And um, we're gonna get ready to put that back together. So like I said, I went ahead and left this alone and that because I wasn't ready to put it in yet. So grab a little bit more. You can put a little bit on your outer barrel because these guns do, the outer barrel does move. So very, very light amount. I don't put a lot on here because like I said, it's plastic. It's not gonna really build a lot of resistance. So with that lubricated, you can go ahead, slide this guy back in and it really only goes in one way because it, it literally won't go in any other. So before we forget, make sure we grab a little bit here. Cool. So just like we took it out, compress this all the way and put the, guide, the spring guide in. Push the hop up back if need be. And then it falls back into place. So we can go ahead and wipe our hands off because you're gonna have some lube on your hands just because you're touching a gun that was just freshly lubricated. So your slide is all good to go. We can set that off to the side and pick back up our lower and pick back up our Q-tip. And I'm gonna use a new one because that one's getting a little bit worn out. Now we can go ahead and fill in these tracks here to make sure that it stays nice and lubed up because that is one of the most uh, one of the high most high stress areas on the gun and also down in here because this is going to see a lot of slide being moved back and forth so go ahead and make sure you get up in there and you know pretty much anywhere right there is going to be good gonna see some movement up here now you can see on this you have some paint and things that are kind of chipped away from stress, meaning this gun was not lubricated well enough when I first built it. Um, and it definitely has seen some wear and tear because I use it pretty hard. Um, so if you do see places like that that show high stress and paint being taken off, it just needs a little bit more lube or it needs better, like lubricated better. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I see a little bit there. Grab some more, kind of dab it on there, make sure we're good there. And then when you get back to your hammer and things like that, you can just go ahead and shove a little bit down into this groove here because that's where everything's gonna be moving. So then you can just kind of move things around very gently. Um, don't just let the hammer strike because you know, you don't have the upper there to kind of compensate for that. So, cool. So now you're pretty much all lubed up. You can go ahead and double check. You have some on your, your rails here. You have some on the bottom of the slide where you're gonna see a lot of friction on the other side, up in your hammer, um, and then anywhere you see some paint chipped away at. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our upper receiver, I'm trying to hold it the best way that you guys can see, and go ahead and put it back on like that, rack it all the way, and then take your slide release, drop it in as far as it'll go, and slowly move the slide forward until the whole, the cutout lines up. Push your slide release through, and now your pistol should function. So just go ahead, put the mag in, rack it back. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that feels so much better than it did before, meaning I was definitely overdue with lubing up this gun. Now, another little suggestion, go ahead and take this gun that you just cleaned and lubed out back or somewhere where you test your guns, put a few BBs in it because you don't wanna dry fire it. Put five or six, maybe 10 BBs through it just to kind of clear out any of the excess that might still be in there and you don't want anything to happen before you go and actually play with it. So go ahead and test it, make sure everything functions as it should, which you didn't really take it down very far, so it shouldn't not function correctly. But with everything the way that it is, 
your gun should feel a lot better. And if you haven't cleaned your gun ever, it's gonna feel like night and day. And I highly recommend that you do clean your pistol kind of regularly. There's really no way of me telling you how often to do it because some of you play every weekend, some of you pay, some of you play a couple times a year. So if you play pretty heavily, you know, depending on your environment, you play outdoors where it's really dusty, clean it after that game. If you play three weekends of indoor CQB where literally it just shoots BBs and there's no dust or dirt getting into it, maybe once a month, maybe every couple months. Um, you know you need to lubricate your gun when it just doesn't feel like it used to, when your slide action just really feels like sandpaper. Um, I've, 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 I've had a couple customers come in and they're like, my gun just doesn't shoot right and it just feels really gritty. And that's a pretty clear indicator to clean and lube your gun. And with everything well lubricated and cleaned up, the gun is going to last a lot longer and perform a lot better. So if you guys have any other questions on how to properly clean, maintain, and just lubricate your gun, go ahead, feel free to comment down below, shoot us an email, message us on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you need. We'll be happy to, happy to help you out through the process. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this walkthrough video or instructional video. If you like these kinds of videos and would like more on different guns, go ahead and drop a comment down below on what you'd like to see. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.